church's shoe trees for a pound. Yes, please. Welcome back, boys and girls. It's your boy Kim from Rummage Around, and in today's video is slightly different. We're going to a car boot on a Friday late. Yes, we've got here late on purpose to see if it really makes a difference if to get into a car boot late. If it makes a difference, then you'll know this video is going to be short. If it doesn't, it's going to be quite a long video because we're going to have loads of stuff to go about. So anyway, guys, before we get into the car boot, please do smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. I am a full-time eBay reseller here in the UK producing quality maybe not quality content for your beautiful faces but some sort of content to your faces we're going to hit the car boot now we are 45 minutes late let's see if it makes a difference let's go look at this look at this beautiful tea what a swoosh let's go the car boot is back let's go first item in the bag and pretty retro wizard waddington's thing slight rust on the contacts but i think we should be able to clean that up Paid uh, three pound. Always got to check the top trumps just in case. Nah, none for me. Now that is a cool piece. Oasis shop sign. It'd be interesting to see how much he wants for that. I think he wants about 50 quid, maybe 100, I think he said actually, but. I ain't paying a hundred. How much you want this? Yeah. How much is on this? Um, oh, sorry, I didn't see. It's okay. Horn B, forward and reverse connection. Do you know if it works? Yeah, it yeah, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll have a little think about it. Yeah, 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 it's fine. I mean, I've only just got it, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> no worries, I'll have a little think about it. Yeah, no worries, thank you. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, how much you on this? It's three pounds. Three pounds, should be looking at about 25, 30. So we'll take that. I wonder how much they've got on these. Have a look. Excuse me, how many have you got? How much have you got on this? Pound. Pound. I'll take that for a pound, thank you. Church's shoe trees for a pound. Yes, please. Three pound each for a gap hoodie, and then this one's a beautiful fleecy one. Another three pound. I think we shall take these two. This one. Beautiful. Happy days. Easy twenty-five pound each. You say a pound on this? A pound yeah. On, yeah. I think a pound is a no-brainer. How much you got your plushes? Uh, He's pretty corny. Armations Park, 50p each. I don't think there's anything here for me, but that's a bargain. Are you selling that as a bundle? I am, yeah. How much you got in the bundle? 25. It's all there, and yeah. it, it, it does work, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Quite one technic set now. So, I didn't catch it on camera, but this guy here was trying to tell me that this technic set was worth a thousand pound. That's right. One thousand pound. I'll have whatever he has been smoking. That's a fact. Okay. Quite like the Technic sets. <laughs> They're good. All right, uh, I'll pass on that, but thank you very much. So yeah, I didn't get that on camera, but we just scored an absolute bargain. All this that you can see here, I think it was about 25 all in. That's including the projectors, the three board games, and this Playmobil set, which alone should be worth about 50 quid. So, uh, Nice little score there. How much you got on this Sony radio, mate? Sorry. How much you got on that? Three pound. All works. Got your handle. Yeah. That's still there. You just take two. Two fifty. Go on, I'll take two fifty. Sony is yeah. not a cheap one.
How much you got your sketches? How much on these? Two pound. Two pound. I'll take them, please. Thank you. It says clickbait. <laughs> it says clickbait. Clickbait. A clickbait hoodie. I can't say I've ever seen one of them before. So, considering we got here an hour late, we've got a nice little bit of haul. Look at this. What a beautiful little haul. Spent £29 on absolutely everything you see here. £29. What a bargain. One item in particular is going to be worth that plus more. So, let's get into the haul. Playmate Bill, set for Randall. If this is fully complete, which, I mean, it's uh, very well organised... You're looking at anywhere between 50 to 60 pounds for that. So there's our money back plus double already. Absolute bargain. I think I paid eight pounds for that. I think it works out to be roughly eight pounds. This is an absolute beautiful piece. This is a vintage Nike sort of suitcase hold all bag. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful condition. Should be an easy 30 pounds and only owes me a pound. Yes. Flipping, please. We then have these Skechers Jewel Light. Really nice condition. Laceless. Absolutely beautiful condition. Plenty of tread left. Paid £2 for them. And should be looking at anywhere between... Did I pay two or three? Two or three quid for these? Should be looking anywhere between £25 to £28 back from them. Paid a quid for this Psycho Calculator Thing Chromatic Tuner. Tested and does work though, which is really, really nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Paid one or £2 for this again. <coughs> Should be an easy 15 to 20 pound. Yeah, we paid 50p for this. Don't know why. Considering the guy was trying to sell me a tuner, a Technics tuner amps and stuff like that for a thousand pounds. If you want 50p for this, it's probably only worth about three or four quid. But hey, easy listing, brand new and sealed. Bish bash bosh. Now these are pretty cool. These are churches, shoe trees. Obviously you put these inside your shoe to really nicely shape them up. Churches is a phenomenal brand of shoe. These are wooden and plastic. If you can get the full wooden ones, you're looking anywhere between 30 and 35 pound. These have got the plastic edge. So these are actually only worth about 20, but only paid a pound. Probably will keep them because I do tend to collect all flipping shoe trees. I have so many of them. So really nice, one pound into 20, we'll take that. Now this is probably one of my favorite pickups of the day and it's Gap. I mean, it's pretty boring, but it's really nice pullover hoodie. It's fleece lined, it's fleece. Beautiful green embroidery, really nice condition. Paid £3 each for the Gap hoodies, but I did knock it down for a five of the pair. Should be looking at anywhere between £20 to £25 back on that one. We then picked up this boxed Ohio SPC 344. This is a cassette tape deck thing. Bobby, Majoggy, Majoggy, Four key system, personal stereo cassette player. Should be looking anywhere between £25 and £30 back from that. Only paid three whole smackaroonies. Moving on to the next Gap hoodie. This is a nice brown and beige embroidery. The, the actual embroidery is like sort of fleecy. And it's just a full zip one. White KK zips. Nice colourway. Should be again £25 back from that. We then picked up this vintage pirate and traveller game. This is 1970. The world's first geography game by Arrows. This can go anywhere between £25 and £50. So definitely be on the lookout for that board game because some of the conditions, some of the additions are absolutely bonkers money. This is just a generic one, so I think it's worth about 25, 30 quid. It is all there, so we're pretty happy with that one. Again, another sort of board game. Again, owes us three quid. This is Travel Go. Some of these can go for bonkers money as well. This one's made by Gibsons. I think you can get some Waddington's one as well. The Gibsons one go anywhere between 25 and 30 pound back from this. Looks to be complete as well. Should be a nice easy post, nice easy listing. Three pound into 25. It's them bread and butter items that we need to be keep tickling on our eBay store. So definitely do not be too heart disheartened if all you pick up is bread and butter items because they're the ones that sell. They're the ones that keep your eBay going. So do not do not miss the chance of getting something like this. Trust. Just trust me on this one. Penultimate item is a Sony stereo. Pick up these all day long. Wanted three pound, got them down to two pound fifty. There is a slight dent there, but nothing too serious. 
semi 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 confident this is going to work not too sure hopefully it does work if this does work this is a 25 pound listing all day long and it will fly out absolutely sell bonkers bish bash bosh sony decent brand really really happy to pick that up and that was probably the last pickup of the day and this is the first pickup of the day waddington's wizard i have no idea on value just yet off the top of my head, I'd like to say comfortable £25. It's proper old school. It's proper retro. It's from the makers of Monopoly and Cluedo. It's got to be worth at least £25. It's boxed with its xylophane, with its instructions. There is, like I said, there is some slight rust on the contacts, but if you can get it out, it's going to be easy money. I can get rust out. A bit of vinegar. Bish bash bosh. Should be £25, but I'll put a uh, screenshot around here of what I can get. But that, guys is the haul not too bad not amazing but again not too bad considering we got there an hour's late we still picked up a nice collection of stuff nice and decent stuff it's good to be back out in the field and that is the first spalding car boot yeah i know we're back home we're in our home environment car boots are back baby bish bash bosh let's go and yeah not too bad the moral of the story is in all honesty don't get to your car bake too late, but if you are running late, then don't worry because there is still some bargains out there for you guys to have. So the moral of the story is get up nice and early, have a look at your car boot. If you're not getting up too early, then don't be afraid. If you somehow miss your alarm and you're about half an hour late, it's still worth going to your local car boot. Obviously don't travel miles and miles and miles for a car boot if you're running late, but if it's just on your doorstep, then do think about popping in. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do smash that like button before you go. Subscribe if you're new around here. We're on the road to 5,000 subs. We're about 3,700 now. We're on the road to five grand by the end of the year. Hopefully we can do it. I think we can. This is, again, not real Banksy. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I've been your boy, Kieran. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Boom.